In the depths of the human soul lie turbulent seas navigated daily by all of us. On this journey, we encounter seven types of navigators, masters of manipulation, who, without due care, can steer us off our true course. But armed with the wisdom of Stoicism, we can maintain our true course, heading towards self-mastery and inner peace. We begin with the first one, the Reality Forger. This is the most cunning navigator in the seas of human interaction, a master in the art of distorting the truth, shaping it to serve their purposes. They create a tapestry of illusions, woven with half-truths and omissions, designed to disorient and confuse. Their words and actions are like distorted mirrors, reflecting an altered reality, leading us to question our own perceptions and judgments. Seneca, a beacon of wisdom in Stoicism, advises us, true happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence on the future. The reality forger, however, seeks to take us away from this present, anchoring our minds in an uncertain future or a reimagined past. They know that by making us doubt the current reality, they can make us vulnerable to manipulation. This manipulator plays with the shadows of uncertainty, creating mental labyrinths where truth seems like a fluid concept. They know that a confused mind is easier to control and manipulate. However, armed with stoic discernment, we can see through these illusions. Clarity of thought and a commitment to the truth are our shields against these distortions. To navigate the murky waters created by the Reality Forger, we must firmly grasp our perception of the present, actively questioning the narratives presented to us and always seeking the truth, even if it is veiled. It is an exercise in constant mental and emotional vigilance, a challenge to maintain the integrity of our perception and judgment in a world where truth is often a contested commodity. When facing this manipulator, we must not allow the waves of falsehoods to sweep us away from the shores of reality. Instead, we anchor ourselves in the wisdom of our experiences and perceptions, remaining steadfast against the tides of deceit. Thus, strengthened by Stoic philosophy, we emerge not only unscathed, but wiser and more resilient, ready to face the next challenges on our life journey. The second one is the Seeder of Doubt. This type of manipulator is a craftsman of uncertainty, skillfully planting seeds of doubt in the minds of their victims. They operate subtly, questioning our beliefs, decisions and perceptions, often under the guise of concern or advice. This manipulator doesn't attack directly, Instead, they undermine our confidence and self-esteem with insinuations and tricky questions, leaving us uncertain about our own judgment and abilities. Marcus Aurelius, one of the most revered emperors and stoic philosophers, offers us a liberating perspective. Our fear of death is like our fear of not knowing everything, a vain fear. The cedar of doubt exploits our natural human tendency to fear the unknown and the uncertain. They know that by amplifying our inner doubts, they can make us more susceptible to influence and control. The tactic of this manipulator is to create a fog of uncertainty around everything we thought we knew. They make us question our values, our purposes, and even our most fundamental perceptions. This type of manipulation can be especially dangerous because it erodes our confidence from the inside out, leaving us insecure and hesitant. To combat the cedar of doubt, we must stand firm in the stoic wisdom of accepting what we cannot control and focusing on what is within our power. This involves a rigorous examination of our own beliefs and a commitment to true self-awareness. We must learn to distinguish between genuine advice and disguised manipulation and have the courage to trust our own judgments and intuitions. It is also essential to recognize the impermanence and incompleteness of human knowledge. 
by accepting that we cannot know everything and that change is an inevitable part of life, we free ourselves from the fear of uncertainty that the cedar of doubt tries to exploit. By embracing Stoic philosophy, we strengthen our mental resilience, becoming less vulnerable to insidious doubts and more confident in our life journey. Confronting the cedar of doubt with a mind fortified by Stoicism allows us to continue our path with a renewed sense of clarity and purpose, resisting the currents of uncertainty they try to create. Thus, we advance not only immune to their influence, but also enriched by our ability to overcome doubt and embrace true wisdom. The third one is the Guilt Master. Among the shadows of manipulation, the Guilt Master stands out for their ability to use guilt as a weapon. This skilled manipulator operates by instilling feelings of guilt and undue responsibility, making us believe that we are always at fault, even when we are not. They manipulate our emotions to make us feel responsible for their actions, problems or feelings, turning a tool of moral awareness into an emotional shackle. Epictetus, one of the most influential Stoic philosophers, teaches us a valuable lesson. We are not disturbed by things, but by the views we take of them. The guilt master exploits this dynamic, distorting our view to make us believe that we are perpetually indebted, obligated to fix, help or yield, regardless of the fairness or reasonableness of the situation. This form of manipulation is insidious because it feeds on our compassionate and empathetic nature. The guilt master knows how to trigger our emotional buttons, leading us into a cycle of self-punishment and remorse. They present their demands as if they were our moral obligations, distorting reality to make it seem like we are in the wrong, even when we act with integrity and fairness. To confront the guilt master, it is essential that we cling to the principles of Stoicism, focusing on what is within our control, our own actions and reactions. We must objectively examine situations, separating facts from manipulative interpretations. It is crucial to understand that while we may care about others' feelings, we are not responsible for managing them. In addition, we must remember that guilt, when used correctly, is a tool for self-development and not for self-flagellation. Instead of allowing ourselves to be overwhelmed by unwarranted guilt feelings, we should use our capacity for reflection to assess our actions fairly and objectively. Freeing ourselves from the chains of imposed guilt requires practicing self-acceptance and understanding that, as human beings, we are inherently flawed. Embracing Stoic Wisdom we learn to forgive ourselves and others, understanding that each individual is responsible for their own emotions and actions. Facing the master of guilt with serenity and steadfastness strengthens our character and emotional resilience, freeing us from the bonds of emotional manipulation. This path of self-knowledge and stoic understanding allows us to walk with greater freedom and authenticity, not as prisoners of guilt, but as masters of our own emotional lives. We come to the fourth type, the deceptive mirror. This type of manipulator is a master at reflecting their own insecurities, fears and flaws onto others, acting like a distorted mirror. They project their faults and weaknesses onto their victims, causing them to doubt their own strengths and qualities. The deceptive mirror not only distorts your perception of yourself, but also attempts to undermine the confidence and self-esteem of those they manipulate. Seneca, the great Stoic philosopher, advises us, we are not tormented by things, but by our opinion about things. This teaching is crucial when dealing with the deceptive mirror. They manipulate the perception we have of ourselves, trying to convince us that we are the reflection of the deficiencies they actually carry. By projecting their insecurities, they try to involve us in a cycle of doubt and self-questioning. The deceptive mirror uses this technique as a way to deflect attention from their own shortcomings. 
By making us believe that we are the carriers of their insecurities, they avoid confronting their own internal problems. This type of manipulation can be extremely harmful as it can lead to a gradual erosion of our identity and self-confidence. To counter the impact of the deceptive mirror, we must practice introspection and self-analysis, foundations of Stoicism. This involves constant self-examination, an honest assessment of our own strengths, weaknesses, virtues and flaws. We must learn to separate what is truly ours from what is being projected onto us. Furthermore, it is essential to cultivate self-acceptance and self-love. By recognizing and accepting who we are, with all our qualities and defects, we become less vulnerable to the projections of the deceptive mirror. This does not mean ignoring constructive criticism, but rather having the wisdom to discern between genuine feedback and manipulative projections. Facing the deceptive mirror with stoic wisdom, we learn to maintain the integrity of our self-image, rejecting false projections and embracing our true essence. This allows us to maintain a sense of self-awareness and authenticity, essential to our journey of growth and personal development. Thus, armed with stoic philosophy, we navigate these turbulent waters with an internal compass that keeps us true to our true nature. The fifth is the sneaky egoist. This type of manipulator is characterized by their relentless pursuit of their own gain, often at the expense of others. The sneaky egoist is cunning and skilled at disguising their true intentions, presenting themselves as trustworthy or even altruistic. However, their actions are always calculated to benefit themselves, even if it means harming or exploiting others. Marcus Aurelius, one of the most respected voices of Stoicism, offers us valuable guidance. Always do justice to yourself. This advice resonates deeply when facing the sneaky egoist. They may try to convince us that their demands are reasonable or that their perspective is correct, but deep down their motivations are selfish. This type of manipulator is dangerous because their influence can be subtle and insidious. They may use compliments, flattery, or false promises to lure us into their plans, always with the goal of benefiting themselves. Their talent lies in knowing exactly what to say or do to persuade us to act in their favor. To resist the sneaky egoist, we must be firmly anchored in our own values and principles. This means practicing self-awareness, recognizing our own vulnerabilities and tendencies, and being vigilant against exploitation attempts. We must also learn to establish and maintain healthy boundaries, protecting our well-being and interests. Furthermore, it is essential to develop a clear understanding of reciprocity and justice. We must be able to discern between balanced relationships and those that are unilaterally advantageous. By applying stoic wisdom, we learn to balance generosity and compassion with prudence and self-respect. Confronting the sneaky egoist requires a balance between empathy and assertiveness. We must be able to offer kindness and understanding, but also firmly defend our rights and needs. With this balanced approach, inspired by Stoic philosophy, we can effectively deal with this type of manipulator, maintaining our integrity and avoiding being used for the benefit of others. Thus, strengthened by Stoic wisdom, we navigate life not as victims, but as autonomous and conscious individuals. The sixth type is the emotional manipulator. This type of manipulator is a true master at playing with others' emotions, using them as tools to shape behaviors and decisions. They have the ability to detect emotional vulnerabilities and exploit them, manipulating feelings like guilt, fear, love, or loyalty to achieve their goals. The emotional manipulator weaves a web of emotional influence in which their victims find themselves trapped, often without realizing it. Epictetus, one of the pillars of Stoicism, offers a powerful perspective. It is not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. This quote is crucial in the battle against the emotional manipulator. They may try to provoke an emotional reaction, 
but how we respond to these provocations is under our control. This manipulator is skilled at creating an emotional narrative that justifies their actions or demands. For example, they may portray themselves as victims to evoke sympathy and compassion or express disappointment and sadness to induce guilt. Their strategies are designed to emotionally destabilize their victims and create a sense of obligation or emotional debt. To resist the emotional manipulator, we must develop a strong awareness of our own emotions and reactions. This means learning to observe our feelings without allowing them to dictate our actions. Self-control and self-reflection are essential, allowing us to respond to emotionally charged situations with calm and discernment. Furthermore, it is important to recognize and respect our own emotional boundaries. This involves understanding that while we may care about others' feelings, we are not responsible for managing them or solving their problems. We must learn to separate empathy from codependency. Practicing stoic wisdom helps us maintain our inner serenity in the face of emotional manipulation. By focusing on what we can control, our own reactions and actions, and by accepting that we cannot control the emotions of others, we free ourselves from the yoke of the emotional manipulator. Facing the emotional manipulator with the strength of Stoic philosophy cultivates not only emotional resilience, but also a deeper understanding of ourselves and others. With this approach, we can maintain our emotional integrity and freedom, avoiding being manipulated by emotional games. Thus, strengthened by Stoicism, we continue our path with emotional balance and clarity of purpose. And the last one is the fear distiller. This manipulator is a true craftsman of fear, specializing in identifying and exploiting the anxieties and insecurities of their victims. They use fear as a tool of control, amplifying concerns and fears, often irrational or exaggerated, to manipulate behaviors and decisions. The fear distiller creates an environment of constant anxiety, where their victims feel perpetually insecure and vulnerable. Seneca, one of the most prominent Stoic philosophers, offers a powerful reflection. Courage is not the absence of fear, but the judgment that something is more important than fear. This teaching is vital when dealing with the fear distiller. They may try to intimidate us with terrifying scenarios, but we have the power to face these fears with courage and perspective. The fear distiller exploits the darker side of the human psyche. They know that fear can paralyze, confuse, and even subdue. Through fear manipulation, they seek to establish a position of power and control, making their victims feel dependent or incapable of challenging their authority. To protect ourselves against the fear distiller, it is essential to cultivate inner strength and mental resilience. This involves recognizing and confronting our fears instead of allowing them to dominate us. We must learn to question the alarmist scenarios that the manipulator presents, evaluating them with rationality and discernment. Furthermore, the development of a balanced perspective on life and its challenges is essential. This means accepting that while the world may be uncertain and sometimes frightening, we should not live in a constant state of fear. Stoic philosophy teaches us to focus on the present, act with virtue and wisdom, and accept that some things are beyond our control. Facing the fear, distiller with Stoic wisdom, allows us to see beyond the shadows of fear they try to cast upon us. We learn to live with courage, not by denying fear, but by recognizing that we are stronger and more capable than our fears may suggest. Confronting this manipulator with the serenity and strength of Stoicism helps us break the chains of fear and live with a sense of freedom and self-determination. Thus, strengthened by Stoic wisdom, we move through life not as victims of fear, 
but as masters of our own journey, guided by courage, reason, and a deep understanding of the intrinsic value of serenity and courage. And now, at the end of this revealing journey through the tumultuous seas of human manipulation, an invitation extends to you. Imagine yourself not only as a spectator, but as a true navigator in these challenging waters. Each shared story, each fragment of stoic wisdom, serves as a beacon guiding you beyond emotional storms and manipulative games. But this journey, though enlightening, is far from over. If you felt a connection, a spark of recognition, or a desire to delve even deeper into the Stoic universe and its applications in modern life, then I invite you to take the next step. In our channel, each video, each narrative, is a piece of a larger mosaic designed to strengthen your mind, enrich your soul, and light your path. Subscribe to dive deeper and deeper. Each like and each comment not only strengthens us, but also illuminates the path for other sailors seeking guidance. In today's world, full of challenges, knowledge is not only power, it is a shield against manipulation and a sail guiding you to self-mastery. See you soon.